Hello, oh, that was really slow there at the start. Hello, everyone. Mirage Fafnir episode review, baby. Woo. You're wondering how I watch these episodes? Again, I use a VPN. Find a VPN, right, that you can use. Then after, go to the Koro Koro YouTube channel. I, I heard last time that somebody tried to say that uh, it wasn't. No. You just search C O C Yeah, C O R O C O R O. You search Coro Coro, you're gonna see this weird little dragon thing with the little red YouTube icon. You click on that, then after when you have the VPN activated in Japan, you can go watch the episode. There's no subtitles, there's not gonna actually be any subtitles. Support the official release, please do not link anything like it's not the official release. I can't stress that enough. And we're gonna get started. So it's a little bit of a flashback. So basically, if you don't have, you haven't seen the previous episode, or actually, no, I don't know why you're on this episode review if you haven't seen the previous episode. What am I saying? Hello. Uh, basically, what happens is they do the twin strike and it fails and free beats them both with a burst. I also like to correct something. I believe I said that. Uh, I think I think I said he burst my tarot, but I was caught in the hype of the thing in the in the match. It was just an over finish. Well, I guess that was my mistake. Uh, again, you know, they obviously, you know, like, it, may, I'm, it makes sense that they would just get defeated easily. It's not like they could just win right away. Anyways, uh, Free basically just goes and walks out. Yuga tries to run after him. Basically, Free is just like, med he's just, Free's just vibing, man. He's just vibing. He's meditating. They interrupt him. While he's meditating, then after they're joining him, you know, he looks at Free, and oh yeah, I guess uh, to anyone who likes Rantaro, uh, we get to see Rantaro do push-ups in this episode, so hey, never too late to do at least a couple of push-ups <laughs> for some training. Well, you know, that was, that was cool, you know, seeing the other characters actually do something, not just like be there. Uh, Car is meditating. I think there's like this little bit where he is kind of just being a little bit annoying. They're swinging on vines, and I think okay, so as free swinging, I think they both fall down. No, okay, no, they're catching up with him on the vines. They miss it. They come back up. They grab the vine again. The vine's kind of uh, ripping for Hyuga. Car, they both work together. Then after that, Free's like, all right. I'm gonna battle you, but I'm only gonna battle one of you. It's like, hold on. I will beat you, then I will beat the other one. <laughs> uh, so this is an actual uh, match. It's between, I think it's like up to, it's two points. It's a two point match. So it's Akaru versus Free. And I believe Free says something along the lines of you better try to get your sparking shoot. Something along those lines. That's the whole idea when they're training. They should be able to get that sparking shoot that they need. So Free's launch is really cool and I'm, I'm going to replicate this. I need to go and replicate this. I will do my best to. So basically, moves his leg a little bit back. His arm kind of moves, kind of sways. Kind of just does like a whole like 360. Then after, yeah, you can see what I mean, 360. The cool thing, which is in ever since Bailey Burst God, where you get this beautiful smear where it goes to his eye, that is awesome. Awesome uh, transition for the whole launch. And then after, obviously, kind of like crouches down a bit, kind of slouches, and then he launches. And I do want to mention something. So, it is very nice that now I get to correct this since, uh, you know, I did the initial video and the video is still solid and whatever. So, Free does actually have that little red part on his launcher. Now, I know that some of you, you might not understand the importance of that, but as I will actually show you, because I have mine right here, this is a custom left sparking launcher, and the red part is actually in reference to Free's God launcher. So, I just did a custom job right there just to do it. Originally, I did think it was going to be there. I actually, I, I guess me and my father were really that far off on it. Uh, it is very cool though to see that reference to Freeze God Launcher. He launches it then after, you know, nice. And really cool, lightning kind of just comes there. That was really cool. 
It's very, it's very cool seeing like the unique sparks like that uh, these characters get when they launch. So obviously, Helios, I believe Helios in this one gets the center. And I think Freed does some commentary like, okay, yeah, you see Fafnir going around, they're both going around. It's like, oh, Fafnir's, Fafnir's a stamina type, but let's see how you, I guess probably something like, let's see how you handle this. So they're both clashing. You're going to notice very specifically that it's the rubber that's hitting on the Helios Bay. And they're both clashing. They're both going all out. Both goes back. Gets to the center. And then after Fafnir... So what happens is that Fafnir now doesn't really have too much stamina. Okay, no, actually, no, no. Fafnir is still still going, but you know, their stamina is wearing down. There is a move. I don't know if this one is a new one. I will still mention it just in case. It is zone counter. Let me just double check. Yeah, so basically what zone counter is, is literally like every counter move we've seen. Yeah, zone counter. Yeah, we've seen it before. I just wanted to make sure. I was double checking. Wait, wait. Zone counter, what, what was that? Anyway, zone counter just parries and it hits the Fafnir, big hit, pushes it back and he's like, oh, all right then, now things are getting interesting. So then after, both these bays have no stamina left. So Helios is on the verge of losing. Hikaru uses every last bit of energy he has left and Free notes like, what? Helios has a little bit of spirit left, hits the Fafnir, Helios wins with a survivor finish. The score is 0 to 1. Then after we see Fafnir switch into its counter mode, basically what counter mode is, is literally just it's made to go up against the left. Rubber is made to go against the right, and then after the, the absorb mode is made to go against right. Counter mode is specifically catered to left. So they notice this. Now it's a little bit different. So Fafnir is just going at it. It does the whole uh, cool little bounce thing. Fafnir gets the center, now Helios is having trouble. The reason why Helios has trouble attacking it is because of the contact that it's making. It's hitting the chassis, it's not actually hitting the rubber now. Which is something that they've made sure to illustrate with uh, you know, the whole thing with Fafnir. Which I think it's really cool. After that typical Avatar power-up, Free does Mirage Claw. I am... I don't know, I thought for a second I was like, wait. Yeah, really cool, goes for it, hits it, burst finish. Obviously, Free's gonna win. Was there any surprise? Next week is Huga versus Free. So I think Huga, I think, I don't know if this is like Huga, uh, Huga loses to Free because it says winner right there. So I don't know if they just spoiled that or if it's from before. But basically what's gonna happen in this whole episode is that, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go up against Free. So as far as thoughts, I think it's very cool. Free was kind of like a little bit of a mentor in the thing. They were joining on his training session. And it's cool that Free was like specific on Hikaru. And I like that idea. And that's something I was actually talking about before. And I said, how could they do Free and Sparking? How could they handle him? And it's kind of what I said. I think it would make more sense that uh, Hikaru specifically would have to be the first one. Now the thing is with Hyuga, I don't think Hyuga will win. But I think maybe, maybe... Okay, if he wins, it doesn't really matter. Not like any official match where Free's gonna lose some ranking or whatever. I don't think he's gonna lose. What I think is going to happen is that the first battle is gonna be a survivor finish by Mirage Fafnir. Because he's gonna probably do like the weak launch and he's gonna keep on hitting it. Then after Hugo's gonna tap into his avatar, and that's when Free gets serious and he launches the bay. And maybe Hyuga almost gets close, but Free just acknowledges, you don't know what, you, you have some spirit in you. Or something like that. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know your thoughts on the episode. Oh, we also did a battle against Glide where it just it burst Glide. And, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really figure to show it just because, like, we already seen enough of uh, Mirage being crazy. Anyways, I do actually want to just leave it off with this. What are your thoughts on Mirage Fafnir? What are your thoughts on Free? Do you feel like they're handling Free well right now? Do you think that Free will end up like uh, Cisco? Oh, okay. Cisco, I don't really count because Cisco, yeah, he did lose to Hyuga and Hyperion, but he literally beat him like the following episode. So do you think that uh, Free might be like Rantaro where he might actually eventually just, okay, well, you're gonna probably eventually lose if they're trying to be number one. But do you think maybe that they'll beat him right away, or do you think it'll take time? 
Don't forget too, I don't know how the anime is going to handle this, but in the manga anyways, Volt is ranked number one and Free is ranked, I believe, number four. You have to check my uh, manga chapter review. So, if the anime is similar continuity, I would assume that maybe Free uh, will also be very hard to defeat and maybe it's only near the end when they actually manage to beat him. That's going to be cool. I'm curious on all this stuff. I'm, I'm, I want to see what's going to happen. Are we going to see Ray's longness after next week's episode? Who knows? Anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts, by the way, on the custom uh, launch that I have right there. I fixed it up now. So, yeah, have an awesome and amazing day.